hi everyone today I'm going to show you something like my youtube channel one of the youtube viewer asked me that uh, I uh, his Jarvis is working but he's repeating hello and good morning for this you have to make uh, to load the grammar and unload the grammar okay for start listening and stop listening okay let's jump in inside of the project okay now we have this uh, Jarvis program okay after that you have to you have to load the grammar for example if I want to make a grammar then I have I, I'm using over here catch and uh, try and catch uh, to get exceptions also okay now when we are uh, making a grammar for speech engine we are going to use a choice class from speech recognition engine then we are going to make uh, text is equal new choice okay text is uh, the variable name of our choice for a uh, speech recognition engine class then we are going to make a string array okay a string array line dot file dot read all lines in environment dot current directory then concatenate and then our path uh, our uh, file name okay okay for for this uh, file we have error right now see you can you can see the file uh, has error for this we have to use namespace using system.io right click on it and then select the system and it will add using system.io uh, namespace for us okay okay now after that okay the error is gone now we are going to add this uh, string array okay to our text uh, to, to our text uh, choice okay choice the variable name text text is equal to uh, it's a variable name and then text dot add lines lines is the variable name of our uh, string array okay that which which is loading uh, the all the text from the uh, default command.txt file okay then afterward we are going to make grammar word list is equal new grammar word list is the uh, <coughs> variable name of our uh, grammar okay and uh, grammar that we want to build this is uh, word list is the variable name of it is equal new grammar then new grammar builder we are going to build grammar and then in the braces two round braces we are going to pass the choice choice is ho holding all the commands in the, our text file <coughs> in default command text file okay it will add to the choice and then we will uh, uh, load the uh, we will build the grammar from the choice okay then a speech recognition engine dot load grammar word list word list is our variable name of our grammar okay give this uh, variable name over here word list then after that we are try and catch ex uh, try and uh, uh, catch ex uh, we are using catch and ex exceptions to get the error okay and then message box dot show e x dot message ex is our variable name of our exceptions okay then it will show the error if something is wrong here it will show the error okay okay now we have our load grammar we have but we want to now over here we are loading the load grammar but I want you to make it unload grammar okay then generate a method okay now when we generate a method it will appear uh, no sorry we have to make unload grammar for we have to generate method for unload grammar okay generate method for unload grammar
now it's showing error no here it is okay then I will cut it from here I will paste it under our load grammar okay then I will copy the same okay same text fro from the uh, same function uh, our same method from the load grammar to I will paste it here in unload grammar but this time what we have to do we have to uh, default uh, instead of the default commands we we are gonna make another text file unload commands like this unload commands okay then save it now we are going to make a default commands first of all and then un unload commands okay for this we have to copy this one the name then go to your file file explorer and then click on documents visual studio projects then or here we have the hey jarvis project we are going to click on it bing you have to click on bin debug and then right click and add a text file now name the text file okay like this now we are going to make another text file unload commands unload commands like this we have now two two uh, text file okay in the first default text file we are going to add our these commands like for, for example we are going to add we are going to add to uh, in the default we are going to add uh, hey hey Jarvis okay and then save it okay and then in a second we are going to add good morning Jarvis okay this command and good afternoon Jarvis and good evening Jarvis okay like this and then what time is it okay then what day day is it what day is it okay then we have another command for what what is the date what is today's today's date like this okay now save these commands okay save save it to your unload command okay not to your gray default uh, uh, default uh, commands okay you have to uh, save uh, you have to save it in unload commands okay txt file okay in the default we are have only hey Jarvis okay <coughs> now when we have this now what we have to do now we are going to first of all we are going to uh, uh, we are going to load load a grammar okay this one not unload grammar okay grammar uh, load grammar commands this one okay we are going to load this one first our default commands dot txt okay then we we uh, we are we will switch to this uh, unload grammar commands okay now okay when we want to do something like this we have to make uh, something that i like private void for each of them okay like for example if i make a private private void i will say it hey jarvis 
okay hey jarvis and then over here is speech engine engine dot uh, unload all grammar okay this will unload all the grammar okay and then we are going to use uh, mm, unload unload grammar and commands we are going to load this grammar okay unload grammar and commands okay now i or here i did mistake somehow okay i did mistake somehow in the default we have to we have to make a text file in default in the project we are we are going to we are going to fix it now okay now i have to copy these all commands okay and then i will put it in default okay this one i will put in default and hey jarvis i will remove it from here okay and then save it okay now i will put this hey jarvis in this uh, unload command dot txt file unload command text file okay now in the default we have all this good morning jarvis good afternoon okay this will load this uh, command okay default command and uh, for unload command we have hey jarvis okay okay now what we have to do we are going to make hey jarvis over here okay private void hey jarvis then jarvis uh, then a uh, speech engine will unload all the grammar and then we are we are gonna load grammar load grammar okay we are going to load grammar okay load grammar in commands or here we have to use unload grammar unload grammar I change it uh, now okay unload grammar first of all we are going to unload grammar we are going to load to speech engine unload grammar okay unload grammar has a hey jarvis command inside of it okay there's no other commands inside of the the uh, unload grammar okay now if you see in the unload grammar we have only hey jarvis okay when we say hey jarvis then jarvis will start start listening okay okay now or here this is for hey jarvis okay it will load the grammar and then we have to pass this okay we have to pass it over here and then semicolon okay okay we we gonna make another one okay we will call it unload jarvis commands okay unload jarvis commands okay unload jarvis commands we have it now we will use the same thing okay speech recognition and un unload the grammar and then or here we will pass the unload grammar okay unload grammar we going to pass this unload grammar uh, why i am making this because every time when you say the comma uh, commands like good good evening jarvis jarvis will reply and then in the end jarvis has to unload command again okay that's why we are going to use this one over here copy it and then paste it here and then semicolon you have to use this unload commands after after every statement executes okay you have to use it like this okay like this okay and then save it okay now if i say hey jarvis okay it will load the this command this will load this grammar loading grammar commands from our default default command text file okay this will load this 
this grammar okay and when you when the uh, statement executed okay then we are going to unload the commands again okay like unload Jarvis commands okay we are gonna use this one to unload the grammar again okay now I am going to start debugging now if I say now if I say good morning Jarvis now you can see it's not replying hey Jarvis good morning Jarvis good evening Salim Raza see now it's it is responding when I when I'm uh, when I'm saying uh, hey Jarvis and then it's 10.58 p.m. hey Jarvis what time is it? 10.59 p.m. hey Jarvis what's the date? hey Jarvis what day is it? what day is it? today is Wednesday hey Jarvis what what is the date? Hey Jarvis. What day what is the date? Today is Wednesday. Hey Jarvis. What is the date? The date is February twenty second, two thousand and seventeen. If I say now what is the date? See, it's not replying because I have to say each, each time I have to say hey Jarvis hey Jarvis what is the date the date is February 22nd 2017 now you can see it's working fine this tutorial is ended or here because uh, this is uh, most of the uh, uh, there are so many comments about this uh, that's why I I made this tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my videos and and next in the next tutorial I will try to make something good uh, okay bye from now